Hey guys, today we are getting spooky but cute with this puppy cake topper. To start, add a little Tylo powder to your sugar paste or use modelling paste if you prefer. Roll a ball into a cone shape between your hands in white. Pinch and tease the top of the cone into a slim neck and trim off the top. Place the cone on your cake or on a foam mat. Squash a disc of paste between your fingers for the hind legs and attach them on either side of the body, squeezing them at the base. For the paws, roll small tic-tac shapes and mark in two slits with a scalpel. Squash down the back and slide it underneath the legs. The front legs start as sausages with one end cut flat and the top sloped at an angle so it sits against the body. Press this to the front of the body, placing the slope part at the top on the left and then meet the bases of the legs at the front. Add in some creases to the legs with the Dresden tool. The front paws are done in the same way. Trim down the neck, still leaving it a little long and insert a cocktail stick down to hold the head. The head starts as a ball and you just want to gently pinch to create a muzzle. Then push in with your finger above the muzzle for where the eyes will go. Flatten and square off the mouth area before pushing in at the sides of the head with your finger to create cheeks. Gently tease and pull the cheeks out and up. That's the basic shape done. Next, mark in a mouth with the Dresden tool on the raised muzzle area. Gently pat below the line with your finger to accentuate the top lip line. Mark in eye sockets with the Dresden tool. Fill the holes with balls of white. Doing it this way helps with painting the outline later. Pat them down flat. Add in small balls of bluey purple paste and flatten them to the inner bottom corners. Then add smaller balls of black paste and do the same. Small white balls create catch lights. With some blue colouring, I'm using Sugar Flares Royal Blue, water it down into a light watercolour paint and just run it around the edges of the blue paste with a fine paintbrush. Now the black paint. Mark around the whites of the eyes to make them stand out and add little flicks for eyelashes. Dampen the top of the neck and ease the head down, slightly tilting it to one side to add character. The nose is made with black paste gently squeezed into a triangle shape using both your thumbs and a finger. Add this to the muzzle and flatten it out to the size you want, using your Dresden tool to keep the shape. Add a tiny white tapered sausage to the nose for a shine. The ears are discs squashed down into a soft triangle shape. And the same with the pink but smaller for the inside. Cut the base of the ear off flat and attach it to the head. Make sure your ears don't stick up but rather more out to the side as we are adding a hat.
you can see that the top of the head and the ears are almost all one level. Cut out a circle of black with Tylo added and stick it to the head with water. Bend the front of the hat down at one side almost covering an eye to make a cute oversized floppy look. The top of the hat is a cone of paste with the bottom chopped flat. Add this to the head and bend the top spike to make it crooked. For the cape I've rolled out some purple paste and you just want to cut a trapezoid shape. Yes that's right I finally looked it up, a rectangle with angled edges is a trapezoid. This is why you should listen in school kids. Attach this around the back and neck. Then for the collar cut out um, whatever this shape is, <laughs> it's an arched strip and stick it around the neck above your trapezoid. For the ties of the cape, roll out a thin string and wrap it around the base of the collar, joining it at the front. For the bow, roll out another string and create two loops by looping the paste over itself. Press the middle to adhere it and cut the tails to the desired length. Attach this to the front of the cape and finish it off with a ball of paste for the knot. Next cut out a thin strip and wrap it around the base of the hat. Now you could leave her like this or make her in a different colour but we are going to add black spots with some black rainbow dust paint and a fine paintbrush. Everything I use is in the description box below. Then as an optional step you can water the paint down further into grey and accentuate the joins, lines and smile. And that's it, all done. A cute little puppy cake topper, perfect for a not so scary Halloween cake. Give her a little pumpkin bucket filled with bones or draw little bones on her cape. Hope you enjoyed this week's tutorial. See you next Tuesday, bye.